the Internet of Things really didn't take off until about 2007 with the uh, popularization of the smartphone. And this really burgeoning use of smartphones is really illustrated you know, how powerful it is for people to be connected. And that's where people realize, well, uh, maybe we could make some other internet connected devices that have sensors. From there, it's really only limited by people's imagination. So the MIST Center is an early stage research sandbox for developing next generation smart systems. The MIST Center, which stands for Multifunctional Integrated System Technology, is a industry university cooperative research center that's sponsored by the National Science Foundation. And so this consists of three university sites. The University of Florida, which is the lead site, University of Central Florida, and the University of Virginia. The nice thing about the center is uh, we are uh, what so called a scalable models. If a company has specific interest, we can go to different college uh, to find out the talents. So existing talent is not there, doesn't mean we cannot create the talent for their use. The company members work together with the researchers at the university to really collaborate on projects. And this is something that doesn't happen anywhere else. You're getting not just electrical engineering students together, but you're also getting mechanical, you're getting chemical, you're getting this whole range of student experiences coming together and looking at problems from very different perspectives. The research thrusts for the MIST Center are five areas, five key technologies important for uh, smart systems in general. And these are sensing, the uh, integration of various technologies, wireless, that's key for connectivity, uh, low power computing, particularly important if we want to bring, for example, the computing to the sensor node, as well as the power. There's this huge activation cost required to take something from an idea all the way to market. So the MIST Center's place is that we help spin that idea up into something that is a little bit more tangible. The MIST Center, uh, is really uh, in this position of trying to bring together our university technology push people and our industry members who know the market pulls. So we have this kind of twice a year meeting where the students, the faculty, NSF and the industrial advisory board meet together. So it's a very fertile ground for people from government, industry and academia to come together exchange ideas. We have calculated that 93% of all membership dollars provided by our member companies goes directly to support research. And there's nowhere else where we could have that type of high efficiency. In order to look five, ten years down the line, that's where the Miss Center can really help. Because our faculty and students, through their scholarship, are focused on understanding what those key emerging technologies are. And, and so it really allows two groups who have different time frames to get together and benefit each other. <laughs>